My name is Brandon Trappins. My partner for this project was Dylan Powell, and we created a floating point calculator for ECE 5736. The objective of this pro final project was to create a floating point calculator that supported addition, subtraction, and multiplication functions. The difference between a floating point number and a regular fixed point number is how it's represented. The first bit is sign, which can be 0 or 1, which represent positive or negative. The next eight bits are the exponent value. The remaining bits are the mantissa. This, is this makes up the real number it is, multiplied by the exponent value to get your final number. This is the block diagram of our system. You can see it's, create, it's split up into three different sections. The red is the floating point calculator block, the green is the custom peripheral block, and the blue is the axis 4 light block. Data starts on the left going into the S axis W data signal. Three 32-bit words are fed into number one, num2, num, and mode. Num2 is the number on the right side of the operation. Num is the number on the left side of the operation, and mode is the operation which is addition, subtraction, or multiplication. From there, the two nums are fed into all six registers. The multiply the mode supplies a signal to the multiplexer to choose which two registers to enable. From there, the signals are sent. The data is sent into the uh, calculation blocks, which are ex add sub, ex add sub, or my mult. The first ex add sub is addition. The second one is subtraction. Um, the mode signal is used again to select which uh, uh, function block to output data from. It is then sent into a buffer register, which is controlled by the FSM. That is then sent to the final register and then outputted. You can see there are two FSMs, are, FSMs in our system. The FSM in the floating point calculator controls when to start and stop the calculation. And the FSM in the custom peripheral communicates with the buffer register, the internal FSM, and the enable for the out, uh, input registers. So we, this is our bus interface. Um, our block we made is the FP calculation, calc underscore IP eight underscore zero block. That connects to the zinc processing system and a couple other blocks, including the AXI interconnect. Um, this diagram shows how we connected our, we connected to the ARM processor on the Zybo Z10 board. This is our software routine we used on the SDK terminal, SDK. <clears throat> First of all, we have to define the address base. Then we write a 32-bit word to slave register 0, which represents the first number. We write a second 32-bit word to slave register 1, which is the second number. We write a third 32-bit word to the second slave register, which represents the operation, add, subtract, or multiply. Then we display the calculated value to the output register, which is register 3. Uh, this is the one that's after the buffer. All of our results were read over the SDK terminal in, uh, using UART. This FSM is the internal. It's in the um, calculating floating point calculator block. We started out with three states, but quickly found out we needed more. Um, to match up our timing with uh, we had to match up our timing so that we could read the right data at the right time. Um, we had a problem where we were reading data too quickly or too late uh, when, it, when data was in the red, uh, final register. And from here I'll hand it over to Dylan to talk about some of the problems we incurred.